you wrote the prompt. You know, it was your idea to make this image. AI just took it out of your head and put it onto paper for you. We took part in a three-day workshop with the Alan Turing Institute and Children's Parliament. Where we learned about generative AI and shared our thoughts, opinions and feelings. Sometimes you can get some pretty weird photos, like you can get some made-up creatures. So children might think that the made-up creature is a real creature. It doesn't listen to all you say. Like for example, I wanted a red dog, but I couldn't get a red dog. Children from two schools in Dundee and Edinburgh explored generative AI through fun games and creative activities. This one has different they don't look like they don't resemble any shapes. First, we learned more about generative AI and shared what we already knew. It stands for artificial intelligence. People use to create pictures, jokes, stories, and music out of. We got to experience using generative AI and we had the choice to use it when we did creative activities. Some of us decided to use generative AI and some of us did not. Well, I've used it to um, make images and um, then using the images I've made the text and I put the prompt in for the images and then it came out with text as well. Doing artwork's quite calming but um... I don't really feel anything when generative AI just got printed something out. I like using art materials better because I can put down exactly what I want onto the paper. Generative AI was more realistic and it was easier to do. I preferred art. I feel like work I've done with AI isn't quite mine because in a way you've just typed in the prompt and you didn't make it, AI did. But with art materials, you can really relate to what you've made because you did all of that, that was all you. I think it's like a lot quicker than doing art. And I think um, if, it, like, if you struggle with art or you don't enjoy it as much, it's, very, um, it's just quite an easy and quick way to get pretty much as close as you can get to what you want. And it's just quite, and it's generally just quite a fun way to get what you need. We talked a lot about how using generative AI made us feel. And we shared our thoughts and opinions on what we would want policy makers and developers to know. The main problem for me is the environmental impact it has. Generative AI can like use a lot of resources. Well, I just like got told that about how much energy it uses and how much water. Now I'm more skeptical of using it a lot because I used to generate a few images a week and I'm probably not going to do that anymore. I'm probably going to limit it to like one image a week. Oh, wait, can I see it? Oh, this is my image. <laughs> the second problem I had was misinformation because that's a serious issue um, because they can make up entire news stories. I think also people need to know about sometimes it can be bias. It's really important to show diversity in the images. I changed another picture to make it look like me. Because all the like, people in the picture had like, white skin and I wanted it to like, have my color skin. So if you can like make sure people get the diversity that's needed into the AI and make sure that like nobody's um, not included. I think it's important for children to have a say because you may have some ideas when you're a child which you'll lose as you grow up because you're in a completely different situation. And those ideas are still important and they should be valued. Those are still good ideas. But if children don't get a say, then these ideas will never get through. And it's important that children do have a say.